What's up, everybody? Jeffrey here with the legendary Nick Dean. Thank you for that. What's up, Nick? Yeah, good. Pretty good, thank you. How's it going? Uh, not bad. And we are at A7 Bistro. Yes, Bistro. Um, it used to be A7 DJ, but it's now A7 Bistro. Nice, nice. Um, and everything fully open, operating as of right now? Um, kind of. Um, I, I've got another bar, but that's not open yet. Um, but we've, we've kind of been running at probably about 75, 80% in the last uh, month because we've tried, we've had to basically convert from, from a bar to a restaurant. We originally com, um, converted to a bakery mm -hmm. um, and then uh, we were basically advised by the lighter scene, do, do it as a restaurant. So, so we went uh, uh, as a, a restaurant. Um, in name restaurant, basically. In name restaurant. But you can still have a good time here. Um, are, we, are we still serving in, in coffee? This is actually coffee. I'm actually drinking yeah. coffee. Are we still serving in coffee cups or is no, beer no. okay and no, stuff no. like okay, that? No, okay, no, okay, okay. We, we basically, we're not allowed to serve alcohol between the hours of um, 2 and 5 p.m. And that is a, a national law. It, it's, but norm, under normal circumstances, Pattaya is an autonomous zone. Mm. So Pattaya is not included in that. But because ah. we're under emergency decree, Pattaya's auto autonomy gets taken away. Okay, I see. So we are, we're not allowed to serve alcohol between the hours of two and five. But over the out of them hours, you, you get served in a you know a normal normal condom. Uh, by the way, that's Coke. Got it. And um, how long have you had this place? I've actually had this place for now for 22 months. Um, but I only actually I, I, I bought I bought it and we were open six weeks before the lockdowns came. It took three weeks to renovate it, and then we were open for three weeks and then the, the, the lockdowns came, the original lockdowns. So I kind of never opened it again. Um, I opened my other bar instead, but this time I decided to open this one. And I think it's been a, a, a class move um, okay. opening this one. Okay. And um, just to clarify, everybody always talks on YouTube like, oh, this is a, a seven DJ bar, and then there's Hacienda? Yes. Am yeah. I saying that right? Okay, so there's two bars, but everybody talks about it like you're supposed to know the story already. Okay. So can you tell the story about okay. the two? Uh, yeah, okay. Um, Asienda is my, my first bar, which is on Soy Chayapun. Um, and this one I opened, as I just explained, uh, three weeks before the, the last lockdown. This, this, this is, it's called A7, and actually not many people probably know this, but it stands for Asienda Soy 7. Asienda Soy 7. Yeah. And guys, actually his location is very cool. He's just, the beach is right up the street. Uh, Central Festival was, I was at Central Festival grabbing a Starbucks, mm -hmm. five minute walk. So if you go to Central to do your shopping or whatever, pop over, see Nick, he's just right here. Yeah, and we've also got, um, we've got rooms here. Um, we've got 21 rooms. But I did, I did think one of my last videos I put up was explaining that I'm gonna renovate each room. Okay. Um, I'm also looking at expanding here. Um, I was gonna uh, do, do a rooftop and renovate the rooms, which I'm gonna do bit by bit. But I'm also looking at th taking this whole building on. Because at the moment, I've, I've got most of the building, but there's, there's bits at the front and at the side here where I can perhaps create another two or three bars. So I'm, wow. I'm, I'm looking at that at the moment. I've got my um, uh, architect onto it, um, seeing if he can do me a design, how we can, can get around this. Very so that, cool. that might be news coming soon. I don't know if I'm going to do it yet, but, but I'm just going to see what the costs are. Awesome. So 21 rooms. Um, nightly, weekly, monthly, all, all options available? Uh, no, you have to do it uh, monthly because of the licensing. Okay. Um, so what we do is if somebody's, it costs 4,500 baht for the month, so, okay. so it's cheap. But I've not really promoted them because I want to renovate them first. Um, I don't want to destroy my brand by, by promoting something that's, uh, okay. you know, they're, they're, the rooms are okay, but they're clean, but they're just a bit outdated. Sure, but guys, 4,500 baht just to be five minutes from the beach? Yeah. Less yeah. than five minutes from the beach? Not a bad deal. No, Definitely consider that. The, 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 the rooms are okay. I mean, there is people that, that live here. Oh, you see the staff, the staff live here as well. But we have to, we do have guests in the hotel. We've had guests in here for years and they do like it. You know, they, they, they like, like being here. Um, it's, a, it's a little bit of a community. Sure. That, that is the plan with it, you know, to, to kind of, I mean, I, a couple of years ago, uh, well, three years ago, I said that I wanted the Hacienda, I wanted to create this live show, um, which I managed to do, but when I, I was probably speaking a bit too further when I spoke about this because I didn't realize at the time the cost of these switcher boxes, they were like $100,000 and I was like, I'm not paying that. 
but then the cost came down so we were managed to create the live show which is the tfi okay. with martin with the boots on the ground okay but so now the live, and the live show was was more intricate than what it is yes. right now right well yeah i mean you know the, like you the, actually had skits planned out and different segments and yes, stuff like yeah, this yeah, right yeah, yeah okay yeah. and that was the expensive bit the switcher box um um because the, the, the cheapest one you could get was a hundred thousand dollars but then Black Magic bought this just new kind of box out, which was brought it down to like seven hundred dollars. Ah, nice. So that's that's why we were able to to create that. Very good, very good. And um, you're originally from? I'm from a place called Stoke on Trent in England. And did you come to Thailand as a tourist initially, or did you come here strictly for no with I, business in mind? No, I came. The first time I came was 1992, and I came here for a friend's wedding. Okay. And I had no idea. This is 30 years ago, over, over 30 years ago. And I had no idea what Pattaya was uh, okay. when, when I got here. And it was a bit of a shock. I actually didn't come back for 10 years. I just didn't really like it. If, if well, you I, had a I'm good honest. time on that trip. I, no, I did. I had a, I had a great time. Uh, it was just a bit of a, you know, I was only 22 years old. And mm. I came here on my own. Uh, I came, this, you know, this is 30 years ago, this side of the world. Um, I, I had a nightmare flight. Um, it took me two and a half days to get here uh, because there was no, there was there was direct flights at the time, but I couldn't afford it. I was only a student. So. Uh, okay, so you had to do some jumping around. Yeah, I had to go to Moscow uh, to have a 24-hour wait in Moscow. Uh, then I had a, 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 like a 14-hour wait in Delhi, and then of course when you get here, it was the old Don Mawang Airport, and it was mm. a four four and a half hour journey to Pattaya. Ah, okay. And I, yeah. I, I went to Gori and there was all these women were shouting me, and I was thinking, oh, God, that's what good is this? though. That um, that um, seasons you a little bit as a traveler. Yeah, yeah. I was only 22 years old, though, so um, it was a bit of a culture shock for me. Yeah. And so, 22 at that point, then came back for... I, I, I actually came... I was 22, and, uh, and then I actually went and worked in the, the music industry for quite a number of years. And uh, then I decided to come back. When I, I, had a, I actually had a, a Thai girlfriend, a Thai English girlfriend. She was half English. Um, she was... Uh, yeah, she was she was half Thai off English, but she was she she wasn't really Thai. She was English. She couldn't speak Thai. But we came to see her family, and that's how I originally came back. Oh wow, cool, cool. And what did you do in the in the music industry? Um, I worked as a promoter. I was a promoter for a company called Golden, uh, and I worked for various companies. I worked for companies like SJM Concerts, which are the biggest concert promoters in the UK. Very uh, cool. I did things from from nightclubs, uh, rave kind of thing. Two festivals like the V Festivals, I was part, part of the original creators of that, which okay. is a, I don't think it goes anymore, but it was uh, one of the biggest festivals in the UK. Cool. So, handling marketing for artists and bands? I, mainly artists, yeah, mainly artists, because I used to be able to book, book artists. Very cool, very cool. Well, I'm actually an artist. I okay. do, do a little bit of hip hop. So, maybe, maybe we'll work something out. <laughs> you never know, you never know. But that's very cool. That's very cool. So, it makes sense that you would transition into. Nightlife. Yes, yeah. yeah. The entertainment has always been my thing. You know, I've always uh, worked in the entertainment industry, most of my life anyway. And um, I, I, I mean, people have asked me to go back in the music industry before, and I've said no because I don't like. I like to. Uh, what's the word for it? I like to. I like to move forward with things, and I sure. think the younger generation deserve that. But you know, we've already done our bit. I don't believe. You know, there's a lot of people ask me to go back in and do these club classic nights and things. I'm like, no, 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 I, that's a step backwards for me. I yeah. like going forwards. You'll just feel like you're like a rerun. Yeah, yeah, and it. I don't want to do that. You know, what, when, it, when it happened uh, all them years ago, it was fantastic. And, and that's it. We just leave it at that. I just prefer to move on. Sure. I kind of left it at a high point, uh, and, and I just like to leave it at that. I don't want to, I don't want sure. to go back to it, you know. Sure. Now, um, for people who haven't been here, what, uh, what's the vibe like? What, they, what can they expect? Oh, well, it's a very good vibe in here, actually. Um, okay, uh, okay. Listen, Rob, we've only just been open like literally a month, because I, I, I can't really say that we were open before the, the, this COVID happened. And I'm so sorry, we, was Asienda open before? Asienda, uh, yeah, okay. Asienda was open um, for February and March of this year. Okay. Um, so they're they're about the same age. Uh, Asienda's old, actually older. Asienda's about eight months older than eight this place. Eight months older. Okay. Uh, but but I literally opened Asienda, and then eight months later, opened my second bar. And then um, Kobe came, so um, both of them were shut down, which is a pretty. So Asienda was rocking. For yeah, a while. yeah. I mean, Asienda is a good, really good bar. Okay. Um, but I had to make the decision this time which one to do I open. Uh, last time I made the decision to open the Asienda because there wasn't as many people here, and I thought it's a smaller place. And this place is it's a big bar, you know. We can get 
over 100 people in here. Yeah, it's, this is a good size. It's a very good size. Yeah. So, you know, if you've got 20 people in here, it looks quiet. Uh, whereas at the Hacienda, yeah. if you've got 20 people in, it looks busy. It looks packed. Okay. Yeah. So that's the reason why, one of the reasons why, and I thought, you, you know, just concentrate on this smaller thing. Now we've changed that and we've opened this one. And it's been going very, very good. Although the last, since New Year, it has dropped off a little bit. But I think that's because of the, the situation here in Pattaya. Okay. And do we have ladies in here? Yes, yeah, yeah. We, we, at the moment, we have, uh, we have 16, 16 ladies at the moment. 16 ladies, wow. But it's not good enough, though, because we normally need 40 to 50 in here. Really? Yeah, yeah. Wow. Just, just before, just around about Christmas, um, it was quite funny. We were, we were all guys in here having a laugh and a joke. And, you know, I've got all these women in here. And by 6 p.m., 7 p.m., I've got no, no ladies left. Everybody's gone. Amazing. And I'm like, you know, <laughs> everybody's coming in and lunch time. And, and because there is a shortage of staff here at the moment. Sure, sure. And um, right now, I don't, know if we should, I don't know if we should say this, but uh, if we walk up and down Soy Bacow, the, the ladies are in high demand. They are, they are having no trouble getting customers. At some of the little bars that are across the street from Tree Town and stuff, there's like probably three or four guys to one girl. So yeah. the girls are making out right now. No, it's a sausage fest at the moment. Yeah. And one of the problems we've got is they were, they, we knew that a lot of them were going to come back in January. But now they're, they're, they're saying they're going to hang on because, you know, um, if you've been listening, Omnicrom has ripped through um, Pattaya. So they're all worried about that at the moment. Yeah. But I think it's a good thing because, you know, come next week, the week after, I think we're going to be in the clear here. I hope so. I hope so. Um, what, how do you feel about the, the testing? Like, I was at Treetown last night. I did a little video kind of warning people that if they test positive, they're going to have to quarantine in a hotel for 10 days. Or they may have to go to the hospital, and the bill could be thirty thousand. Thirty thousand. Thirty thousand. Depends baht. on depends on where you go. I know the somebody just came out of the the um, Bangkok Pattaya, and uh, they they charged thirty thousand per day, and he wasn't even sick. So this really really winds me up. I mean that's over seven hundred pounds in, in, in the UK, eight nine hundred dollars a day. It's it's. I mean okay, insurances are paying for this, but there's going to be a tipping point where insurances probably say, well, hang on, we're not paying for this because sure. you're not sick. And some insurance companies, it can be kind of questionable. And just to clarify real quick, nothing against Thailand or Thai people, but if you're testing positive asymptomatic, it can kind of feel like a scam. So that's why we're just letting you guys know to be aware of that, okay? Yeah, yeah. I mean, I, I, my advice is to go, go and buy your own um, ATK test from the pharmacy and just check yourself every now and again. Um, we, here at the bar at the moment, this is, we've been doing this now for, since New Year's Day. Um, we were told we've got to do this, but we, we do know they're going to start clamping down very soon. I know there's a meeting at four o'clock today um, about uh, the, the how bars are going to really have to be stringent on this. We have been stringent on this, where you, you need to show us a, a COVID free test. You can do it yourself, do it at home, um, and when it's negative, just take a picture of it by your face, and that timestamp on, on, on the picture, uh, which we can go into, We'll, sh we'll show that it's within the 72 hours and then you're allowed to come in. If not, we can do the test for your ear. Now, what we will not do is, um, I can only advise you to um, go and seek medical help. I'm not gonna grass anybody up. I'll just tell you to go and seek medical help. Sure. Um, but that, that, that's it, that's none of my business. You know, I'm not, no doctor, none of us are. So we just, we just need that, that clear test. And, um, and then that lasts you for 72 hours and you can go anywhere. Unfortunately, that's the way it is at the moment. Um, I don't know how long this is going to last. I think maybe a month. Okay. Um, so yeah, guys, that's just advice. Take it or leave it. Just do your research. Things are changing day by day, but that's kind of where it's at right now. Um, Nick, what are you hearing as far as like things being open and closed from a bar um, owner perspective? Um, I. I mean, I do hear a lot of things, but um, I can't. They're supposed to be the 16th of January. It's supposed to be the set date, but I really can't see it at the moment. Okay. Um, now, the, the the local mayor and also the the, the, the provincial governor, uh, they've both come out in the last couple of days and said that we are not going to lock down. We we do not want businesses closed. We do not want. Lockdown. I don't see I don't see lockdown happening. I see maybe some restrictions. Uh, restrictions yeah. yeah. Now, this did, what I'm saying is this doesn't mean that the CCSA they might lock down. I don't think they will lock down but they might put restrictions in there, like no alcohol in restaurants. That's Friday, that's happening on Friday. We'll see, we'll see what happens. But for me now, this, this, this Omnicrom has completely ripped through for tire. Mm -hmm. uh, most people have had it. 
So we should be on our way to herd immunity. So in the next couple of weeks, ah. I think it'll be clearer. So I think it's a good thing for me personally just to, because it, it is quite mild, this one. Right. Uh, and it's nature. Okay, I didn't think of that. Yeah, it's nature. That's good. So okay, is, that's a good thing. This is nature's vaccine, you know. Everybody's going to get it. Get it. Everybody, most people are getting it anyway. Uh, right. And most people are actually not sick. You've got a, a sore throat. Um, but, you know, but this is a good thing. And I think this, uh, this is, this is what we what we need, um, and this is what the world needs as well, because this could be the end of the pandemic. I hope so. I hope so. That would be that would be lovely. That would be lovely. Um, do you have any plans for when things do start to pick up? Um, uh, well, yeah, of course. I mean, okay, we've got first of all, we've, if we can remain open, we've got my birthday next week. Oh, okay. <laughs> Our birthday party, uh, which is on the 11th of January, we're having a party here, but we might be blocked. Well, we might be closed, I don't know yet. Everything's just kind of up, up in the air. We, we, we're living day by day at the moment. We don't know. Well, I'll be here, even if we have to shut the... Yeah, I might, I might be able to get a private room party somewhere. <laughs> hey, you said there's 21 rooms upstairs, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. There we can all die somewhere. Yeah. <laughs> we'll just bounce around room to room, like the, old, like the college dorm days. Yeah, I mean, I, I actually went through this building uh, yesterday, and I didn't realize that there's rooms. Like, I never even knew they were there. It, it, it's... It, it's it's a massive building. There's, there's so much going on here. So we'll, we'll see. We'll see what happens. But yeah, 11th of January next Tuesday is my birthday. But let's see if it happens. I missed my birthday last year because we were in lockdown. Okay. Hopefully I won't miss so it's it again. Be, so it'll be a bigger one this year. It'll be double. Double. Okay. And Nick, your channel is NDTV. NDTVI. ND, NDTVI. What's yeah. the I? Um, that, okay, originally... Originally, I created the channel to... Actually, I've had the channel for many years, but I never, I never used it. Uh, then I was really into cryptos, and the I was for iTech. So oh, okay. I was going to do, originally do a channel about cryptos. Cool. So how long have you been doing YouTube consistently? About four years. About four years. Yeah, yeah, about four years was consistently. There, was there something, was there one video, was there a series of videos that kind of blew the channel up? Um, uh, not, not necessarily, no. I think what really started blowing my channel up was when we went into lockdown. And I was okay. probably the only vlogger here in, in uh, Pattaya. So people were um, coming for news and updates Yeah, and stuff yeah, like that. and you know, what's going on? Was, I mean, I remember at the time it was a bit spooky, you know? I mean, I'm getting messages from the British Embassy saying, get out. Get out and, and really? Yeah, yeah, you know, there was a mass exodus and I felt like why, I was the only um, one left here. Why you? Um, I don't know, I don't know. <laughs> um, I, I, I do. I, I just think he's, they were telling everybody who, who oh, was okay. kind, of, kind of left living here. Gotcha, gotcha. <coughs> but, um, yeah, because yeah. I would imagine it's probably a handful. It's enough where they could send an email. Yes, yeah, yeah. So it was just a generic email. But gotcha. it, was still, it was still like, you know, well, woof. And, and don't forget at that point in the world, we were going into un, unknown territory for the whole sure, world. Sure, sure. And I'm kind of here and I'm thinking, damn, you know, what's going on? Uh, so I think that's what kind of really blew my channel up. I mean, every time I did a video, it was getting 60, 80,000 views. Wow. Uh, you know, each, each time then. Uh, but then I, I started thinking, hang on, this is getting too negative. And my channel has mainly been about entertainment. Sure. And I become sure. like a new source. And I'm like, ah, oh, I need to change this up a bit. Because I, I, yeah. I like entertainment. Absolutely, absolutely. Me too. And um, I think as, as creators, we get tempted when you do like a negative topic and you get well, those clicks, right? You know, the, the thing is with the negative topics, they're the ones that, that really blow up. But I'm not about numbers, me. I, you know, sure. my, my channel is steady. You know, it's, when I make a video, it always gets probably more views than I've got subscribers. But I, I'm, I could, I could make videos that would really blow up. But I don't want to do that. I don't want to be negative. I try to be positive with everything I do. So you never want to say Thailand is coming to an end. No, I never say that. That, that makes me laugh all them comments. Right. right. Uh, but that's clear. There's, there's clearly people who, who, I think a lot of it's trolling beyond maybe a bot. Uh, they clearly don't have a clue how, how the system works here. Yeah, yeah. And you guys do a live stream show? Yeah, we do two. We do boots on the ground. Um, well, actually, we do two boats boots on the ground at home. Manau, Manau, which it shouldn't be, um, because we do the TFI show, which is uh, thank Ethics Thailand, um, which was just a bit of fun um, last year when we were the bars were empty. We thought, let's create summit. Uh, you know, a lot of people weren't here, so we thought let's, let's you know, let's create some show for them um, where they can interact and feel like they're there with us, which worked really well. And then we got locked down, so we've not done that, but we're going to bring that back very soon. 
And is the studio here or is that at Hacienda? It's at the Hacienda, it's on the uh, second floor on the Hacienda. That's very cool. That's yeah, so this, awesome. This, 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 we, we were given out by Day State Fox, but that one, he, he um, pumped a lot of money in. Because we, use, we do use um, good equipment, you know, black magic cameras. Uh, very cool. And they're, they're, they're not cheap, you know. We, we've got lenses that are worth like $1,000. So okay. we use three or four cameras. And someone told me that that was actually on Thai TV or something. Is that true? <laughs> yeah, it actually, it, it goes on cable TV. Cable TV. Yeah, yeah, it goes on. That's very cool. Yeah, it goes on like in Bangkok and uh, Koh Chang, Phuket, places like that. Wow. Gets and you, do you get a lot of feedback? For yeah, I, I've actually been in a, I get messages from people saying, I'm in my hotel room and I can see you on the TV. <laughs> That's awesome. That's awesome. Yeah, so they, we, we don't get any money for it, but it's just, just uh, promotion. Well, that promotion is prob probably goes a long way. Yeah, no, it does. Uh, it does. You know, I mean, this is how, this is how, how it kind of started here in Thailand. You know, uh, you could, especially with Martin, who's, who's my partner in this, he, he worked um, in, the, in the TV industry with cable TV. Okay, um, and, and that's why they go up there, by the way, because Martin's still got the keys to it, so he puts ah, them up. Ah, okay, nice, <laughs> nice. So Martin's got the connections. Yeah, yeah. So, so you know, you go in a hotel room and you put your TV on, you, you you can often see what's on there. Very cool, very cool. And do you find that this this helps promote the bar? Like customers come in, um, they've, they've seen your face before. Possibly, yeah. But I think YouTube does that. YouTube now is, it's kind of taken over a lot of the, um, especially you know, a lot of the local TV stations. Yeah, um, yeah. You know, people could only watch them as they were here in Thailand in their hotel rooms. Uh, but, but YouTube now is global. Sure. So YouTube changed the demographics of sure. everything. How often do you meet subscribers that come into the bar? Oh, every day, every, every day, day. Yeah. every yeah. day. I mean, you've seen it yourself. Yeah, we're, yeah. We're, we're now, you know, it's not even two, two o'clock in the afternoon. Yeah, uh, it people. was what, two or three guys that came yeah, up? Yeah. And they were like, hey, Nick. Yeah, you know, um, I, I think it's a little funny story. The other, uh, was it last week, I went to, um, uh, I needed some food. I went and got my haircut and needed some food. And uh, I'm driving my motorbike, and I, I you know, the, the back passenger pedals were down, and I didn't realize. And some, some bike came out, so I just swerved a little bit, and I clipped a, a motorbike. Oh, shit. Just, just like the back light. And, and uh, some guy shouted, Hey, Nick, you've just hit that. And I just thought, I can't get away with nothing. So, so I had to go and admit to it. It cost me 300 baht, by the way, but I wouldn't yeah. would have admitted anyway. But just the point of, I just clipped somebody, like, Hey, Nick. Yeah, yeah, that's a trip. It's a, it's, a trip it's a trip when things start kind of spreading around. Um, I was at King of Coffee at Patia Beach. I'm sitting there just drinking my coffee, just in my own world. Some guy comes in, Jeffrey, right? I'm like, yeah. Like, Did you enjoy your massage yesterday? You yeah. sure like your massages, don't you? Because I got some massage videos on my, <coughs> on my channel. I'm like, yeah, it's part of the territory, you what know. What I, about? You, you, it's, I mean, I've, we've had like probably near two years where yeah, the locals know us, people know us locally. But, sure. But we haven't had many tourists coming in, and now it's part of the territory. I, I like meeting people anyway, I, I, you know, I, I enjoy it. it no, it's cool, it, let me know that it's working. Yeah, 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 yeah exactly, yeah. But everywhere to go, um, probably, you know, even when I go outside of Pattaya and other areas, people recognize me. Sure. But sure. I don't mind, I enjoy it, I enjoy it. Very cool, very cool. Okay, so again, guys, um, NDTVI, yep. if you guys don't know Nick's channel, and uh, anything else you want to let them know? No, I think that's, that's, that's about it. Um, if you, you know, if you're in the area, come and see us. You know, um, we don't bite. Um, and don't forget, my birthday next week, number 11. Birthday next week, you can stay for a month. That's a really good rate, guys. I did not know that he was doing rooms that cheap. I think um, maybe I'll come chill for a month. Who knows? Yeah, there, there, there is a, there's a few guys from the YouTube channel already staying on here at the moment. Very cool, yeah, very yeah. cool. Cool. Well, nice to meet you, okay. Nick. Thank you very much. We'll, You're um, we'll do it again because I'm around. Yeah, cool. So, uh, thank you. And like we do, always do it this time, peace, love. Bye, guys.